Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Guess it's time for drinking and playing. What's up, friends? Time to get swifty! Holiday edition. It's been really long time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but a lot of stuff happened. We all know how this year is going, so I don't need to explain myself, but we're back. And not only are we back, but I'm making two drinks for you tonight. That's right, two drinks. Holiday gift from me to you. What are we making tonight, Lane, you ask? Well, we're making one drink that is a classic go-to, and I actually intended to make back in September for my sweet partner's birthday. Yeah, Oz, right. But um, like I said, things happen, but this is his favorite cocktail. And then we're also making a drink that I pulled right up out of my butt. Let's get started. The first drink we're gonna make is the, the tried and true Toronto. It is a delicious drink. Oh yeah, so the, the, the theme of the night to go with the holidays is, is Fernet. This is brought to you by Fernet. Not really, they didn't sponsor this, but I would love it if they did because Matthew and I love us some Fernet. It is a delicious digestif. It is um, minty. So, so this first drink is the Toronto, like I said. It's gonna have uh, our bullet rye. The other component that is required is more simple syrup. Look at me, I made a fresh batch. It's still warm from mama. And then you're gonna need a lemon for this. Super simple, easy kind of drink. Also the measurement is usually different on it, but it's the holidays, so I'm kind of just gonna like wing it. Yes! Um, I actually need this, so as, as nice as that looks, we're just gonna... We near a mixing glass, so make sure you get that out. So I'm gonna do one and a half of the whiskey and one ounce on the fernet, because I just want that fernet to pop out a little bit more. Tis the season, you know, it's a flavor that goes well. So we're gonna pour this to one and a half here for whiskey. All right. Jingle bells, you know? So one ounce here of our fernet. Now, you can grab your bar spoon. So I just do a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> that's it, that's all this drink needs. Pop an ice cube in there, stir this bad boy up, and then serve it. Okay, these go in there. Make sure your hands are clean. We are on business. I'm gonna pour it in this glass. It says the good shit on it. This is actually our friend's glass that she keeps here for when she drinks here. So we're using it, Hannah, sorry, you know. Slap that on there, and we're gonna pour it into our glass. All it needs is a little garnish. <laughs> okay, we're doing great. So, yep, lemon peel, and then you're just gonna express that to your glass. Cheers. It's so good. Cheers to the Toronto. But we're not done. We got another drink to make, people. So round two coming up. The drink that I made up. Back to your regularly scheduled program. This is another drink that features Fernet as well as vodka. You need a glass. You're gonna need your simple syrup again. Fernet, like I said, vodka. And the last thing that's a little different is actually chocolate bitters. These were gifted to us by some really good buddies, um, this, this array of bitters. And this is one of them that was in it. And we also need crushed up candy cane and vanilla ice cream and also milk. So you need a few things. <laughs> we're gonna do a half ounce of vodka first. I'm gonna fill this with ice now. All right, we're gonna fill this pretty heavily with ice. So then I'm gonna add the simple syrup. Now this is gonna be about an ounce. It's gonna be so sticky up here. 
Now we're gonna add our milk. We're gonna do it to about the little bit of like, a little bit higher than the, the, the half mark. So this just looks like a milk vodka drink right now. But first we're gonna add our bitters. So chocolate bitters, I'm gonna do about six or seven dashes. So now we're gonna add our fernet. Give us a little stir there. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of fernet. Put a little scoop of ice cream. I wanted whipped cream, but they were out. So vanilla ice cream it is. Um, I think it'll be good. This is, you know, a holiday treat. So think of it as like peppermint, like milkshake, lovely little boozy white Russian-esque shake. Adding a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Final, final, final step is some crushed peppermint on top just to really go the extra mile. So, you know, my method is always very chaotic. So this is a lovely concoction of mine. It's a minty, creamy, lovely little drink. It's so good. Here's it in all its stirred glory. I hope you enjoy. Please let me know if you do make this one or in Toronto, or if this is the first time that you've tried a drink with Fernet. Hit me up and remember to smash that like button and subscribe. Double whammy episode getting right back into it. This has been Drinking With Lean. So yeah, welcome back to me and to you. And you know, make these drinks, enjoy your merry whatever, and love yourself. I'm gonna get stuck your teeth and they're just like, come on. Like paying my dentist at this point when I buy a candy cane.